but it is far from over. Surya Bonali. There were questions about whether she would make it here today. She told everyone she was sick. She was going to withdraw from the competition. Now she tries to tie Katarina Witt and Sonia Henny. And we won this title six times. Well, there's nothing like skating with an audience aroused, and it is now. She skated a very clean, short program. But just like her, she's changed her program at the very last minute. She's now skating to Vivaldi's Four Seasons. And look at the way she pulls off that double axle from a practically standing position. She's a very acrobatic type jumper. She doesn't need the speed, she just pops up in the air. It's the only half decent split jump, triple jump combination that we've seen yet in this competition. She's not unlike Philippe Candeloro, who can pull it off under the most incredible circumstances. She really has pizzazz. Triple sow cow. Triple toe. <laughs> I mean, I almost expected to see her do her, her classical one foot flip, which is disallowed in this competition. Well, when the seats are filled, the French show up. And it's ironic because Surya Bonoli wasn't even supposed to be here in Milan. She's a last minute replacement for Leticia Hubert, who is the current French national champion, who is out with an injury. A year ago, Europeans was her first event coming off an injury. Double loop. I think she played that very carefully. If you notice her boots, you'll see that they're taped onto her feet. You'll also notice that one boot, the sole is black and the other is light. It's almost a statement of saying boots and skates by her mother. I quite frequently is here sitting off on the side of the ring, screwing them on differently, changing them, retaping them, doing all kinds of things at the very last moment. But the boot that has the tape on it is her landing foot. Maybe that gives it a little extra strength. a program at the last minute like this it's hard to know and pace your breathing through a routine that you're not that familiar with ah, uh, now that alone could put cost her this championship but you can see she's slowing down remember though Boutier Skaya was in fifth after the short program jumped all the way to first and Surya Bonali in second coming into the free skate so you combine the two but Yoskaya needed a huge effort to get there. That would have been a triple Lutz. It looked like she withdrew from it at the very last second. It looked like she was too close to the boards. Ran out of space. This program is falling apart, I hate to say it. Well, it's very difficult to do, changing at the last minute. Even that jump, although completed, had a very low back on the landing. Well, a program that lost momentum about halfway through, and the crowd lost all of its momentum, too. Whether Bonali is involved or not, the scramble at the top will be an interesting one. We'll have it when we return to Milan. Surya Bonali, along with her mother, five-time European champion, 
and the marks for technical merit. Well, they're very low because she really didn't complete anything, and the second part of the program was almost falling apart. Brilliant at the beginning, though. Brilliant. And this was the worst mistake, her fall on this triple flip. And that's one of those falls where oh. you stop completely. Yes. You don't bounce and get on up and continue disrupts the flow of the event as well. And for presentation, 5.0 to 5.5, Surya falls all the way down to six, and it's Maria Butirskaya who jumps from fifth all the way up to first, and she is the new European ladies champion. Right behind her, Arena Slutskaya, who has won this event two years in a row. Now she captures the silver medal. And Tanya Shevchenko was in first after the short program. She does hang on to stand on the podium. She catches the bronze. That's the story here in Milan. Now let's take you back to John Saunders at our Wide World of Sports studios in New York.